This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to set up a package configuration file so that variables, connection managers, and other properties can be modified from outside the package. The point of setting up package configurations is so that we can change information related to the package from outside the package and don't have to open the package to modify it. In this demo, we're going to store the information we want to change in an XML file, which we can then modify to change what we want to change. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the connection string for a connection manager. So this connection manager will be used to create a table. So we have this execute SQL task here to create a table in whichever database uh, I have in the connection string. So we're going to start out with it set to 2022 underscore tutorials. And uh, it's in this server, which could also be modified in the XML file. So I'll click OK. And then I also have a couple of variables set up down here. One is for a color and one is for a tree. I'm not actually going to use those for anything, but I'm going to show you how you can change those by making a change in the XML file that's part of the package configuration. So I'm going to right mouse click on the control flow canvas here and then select package configurations. I need to enable package configurations and then I'll add one. So then I click on Next, and the configuration type, um, we're offered several options here, and I want to use an XML configuration file, so I'm just going to leave the default selected, but you can see the other options you have there. And then I need to give this file a name and a location. So I'm going to go over to my C drive and go to package configs. That's the name of the folder. And then I'll give the file a name. I'll call it demo file. And there you can see the um, type is going to be DTS config. So I'll save it. I click on next again. And now I'll enlarge this. And we'll go up to the top here. And I want to be able to make changes in the Connection Manager. So I'll expand the Connection Manager here. I don't need any variables related to that. And the only property that I need to put into the XML file is Connection String, because that has all the information in it that I might want to change. All right, and then we'll go down and find our variables. I'll expand the properties for each of the variables. And I just want to select value for the color variable and value for the tree variable. And now I'll select next. And we'll give this configuration a name. Demo config. And click finish. So now I can close this. Stay tuned to see how I change the database name and the variable values by editing the configuration file. If you are integrating applications with SQL Server, you know it can be quite a hassle. With the Cozy Rock SSIS Plus REST framework, you can easily connect any web service. Create XML-defined configuration file. Process complex services with an embedded JavaScript engine. For additional power, you can use any .NET class in your code. All data is protected using the standard SSIS framework. Check the growing list of ready-to-use REST configurations. Start using the CozyRock SSIS Plus Suite now. It's free for download and development in Visual Studio. And we'll go take a look at the file that I just saved. So it's in uh, my local C drive and then package configs. And this is the file it created. So I right mouse click and I open it with notepad. 
and it's not formatted very nicely, but we can work with that. Kind of make it easier to read. Here's where the interesting stuff starts. So this is the connection manager information. And here you can see properties, connection, string. And then here's the actual string. And I want to change the database that it's going to create the table in and use 2023 underscore tutorials as the database. And then if we want to look at the variables, I'll separate that out to make it easier. So here's the color variable, and I'm going to change that to have a value of yellow. And then here's the tree variable, and I'm going to change that from maple to spruce. And then we'll save the file. I can close it. And now, in order to get the new values to show up for the variables, I'm going to close the package and then reopen it. And there you can see our variables have the new values. We have yellow for the color and spruce for the tree. And then if I actually well, I can go open up the connection manager here, and there you can see the database name is 2023 underscore tutorials instead of 2022 underscore tutorials. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.